it's Stacy with So Steady, and we are back with the amazing Diane Russell. And we have a new template for you guys today. Diane um, has created a new line of Designs by Dye templates, and this is just fitting right into that line of butterflies and botanicals, guys. So she kicked off her butterflies and botanicals setback in, was it June, Diane? Yes, I think it was June, June 15th. Yeah, and uh, we have a little Designs by Dye. We have a Butterflies and Botanical Sampler set now. And then just last week, we released the Small Plumeria. And we did that because she's got this amazing class that we are super excited to share with all of you called the Garden of Capri. Um, we've talked it up a little bit, but um, that that small plume area is actually going to be part of that. So you would use that butterflies and botanical sampler and then the small plume area. And that's actually all you need for the class. Is that right? That's correct. And then, and then today, just because why wouldn't we launch a gorgeous um, dragonfly template? She's got a really fun dragonfly template that you can throw in, maybe make your, um, your special Garden of Capri a little extra special. So tell us all about this amazing design and some of the other amazing designs that you've created, Diane. This has all come from the fact that I absolutely love flowers. I love to take pictures of them. I love to paint them and draw them and use them in my art quilts and my quilting designs. The only thing I'm not great at is growing them. So I decided about a year ago to come up with this line of butterflies and botanicals, different petals, different um, shapes that you can use, not only for traditional ruler work, but also to do something a little more on the art side. So this is the new dragonfly that is being launched today. And it is one template. I'll show it to you because I'm very excited. It's very compact. There is a body and there is a wing. And I'm going to show you how you can make the wing into different sizes. The unique thing about this template is that you will not be using a crosshair marking to do the placement, you will be doing it totally freehand. And it just makes it so much fun. So I'm really excited that So Steady let me do this. And I can't wait to share the Garden of Capri class that's coming up. And in case you haven't seen Butterflies and Botanicals yet, here is the template set. It comes with five templates. They're all interchangeable to make beautiful, different flowers, different designs. And it also comes with a butterfly. And then we added the um, dragonfly today. And last week we added the small plumeria. So the dragonfly is, here's one way that I used it. And I'll hold this up so you can see it. This is a free form that I'm going to be teaching how to make this in the Garden of Capri class. But this is using the dragonfly template and simply using all threads and sewing through the threads and doing the machine quilting as well. And you have this whole separate design that you can add to any quilt or you can add to anything actually. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then as anybody who knows me knows that I love my template method. So here is the dragonfly that is stitched out and I've done the reverse applique cut through for the actual dragonfly. I'm adding a couple of flowers to it too, because I can. Uh, this is the small plumeria petal that just came out last week. So when you combine these all together, it makes a really cool set. And I'm also going to be doing some upcoming classes in the next um, four to six months that are going to be using these templates on um, utilitarian 
using them as um, a traditional, a more traditional way of doing ruler work. I'm going to be doing um, them on a baby quilt. I'm going to be doing them on a wall hanging as well as a table runner. And we're just going to be able to come up with a lot of cool different designs. So whether you love traditional or art quilts, this set has something for you. So let me show you the ruler and what you can do with it. First of all, I wanted to show you because I always stitch everything out. Um, I love to design on paper before I design on the actual fabric. Fabric's gotten really expensive. And so I like to work out my designs on paper. And this is the So Steady Design Kit. It comes with the stitching line discs as well as um, the big paper. And it's all grafted. So it's really easy to use. So that's, that's just showing you how I like to um, design. And especially with this template, it's so much easier to do it on paper first because it is free form. So you're not lining it up to an actual crosshair marking. So it's just easier to design this way. And I'm going to show you on fabric and on paper. So looking at the ruler first, we have some markings on it. And these is what is going to make it really easy for you to use this as a free form. We have, this is the wingspan. One wing, I'm going to show you how to use it in two different ways to make it smaller and larger. And then we have these markings that are etched into the template that will show you after you put in one wing, how to move it and line it up to putting your second wing. It also has these straight lines that depict the body. So you can line it up to that as well. And the beauty of this ruler is all we have to do is flip it to get the other side. So I have stable tape on both sides of my template and we're going to stitch out the body first there's also, if you already own the Butterflies and Botanical set, you have the ruler that has three different bodies on it. You can also use this elongated body and put that on and do a side view of the actual dragonfly. And so hopefully we'll have enough time that I can cover that as well and show you how to do that. So let's get started. Now, I like to mark with a dry erase marker. I like to mark the dragonfly just so I can see it clearly. I don't do it on the etched side. I do it on the opposite side. And I'm just going to put in those markings. Now, if you are putting this on your finished quilt, you may just want to check and make sure that it's not going to transfer to your finished quilt. I haven't had any problems with it, with the um, markings transferring, but always double check that. So I'm putting in my straight lines because that's where my body's going to go. And then I've got my wing, my wing etchings. So we're going to drop our needle down and it doesn't, I'm just going to start up. Yeah, we'll start right about there. Drop down, pull up your bobbin thread so you don't get any messes on the bottom. Put your needle back down, and the system on this is so cool. Stacy, I don't know who came up with this system, but I love it. With these slots, so all you have to do is lift and put it through and bring it back down, and that's how easy it is to place your... Here, I'm sorry. I'm losing my words because I'm looking at the camera. So I'm just going to do the body really quickly. 
and it's a really pretty shape because as you know, a dragonfly body is a lot longer than where the wings go. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to snip these threads so that they're not in our way. Now, so here you have the actual body of the dragonfly. I'm going to place this, and this is where you might want to use your stitching line discs to draw this out first. I am going to place this. The wings, if you look at an actual dragonfly, the wings are usually up by the top of, by the head. So I'm going to place my ruler back in. And where I drew the straight lines, I'm just going to line that up to my body. And I can turn this, though, if I want to. But for right now, I'm just going to show you how you do this and line it up and just go around and come back. And then we are going to just travel that you learned how to do that right when you started quilting. And you can go down as far as you want. I like to have the wings so that they still have some connect connection to them. So I am going to actually go up a couple more stitches. Now, I can keep my body lined up where I actually put in the body. Or if I want to make this wing smaller... All I have to do is move over and yeah. that line will line up and it will make this wing a little bit smaller. So hey, we did have a quick question that came through. Sure. Diane Someone was asking, how big is that dragonfly? That is a very good question. Let me get out my handy dandy ruler. It measures... Let's see, it measures six inches in width and four and three quarters in length. So it's a good size. All right, so I'm gonna move this up just a little bit more because I do want these to connect and I am going to make it smaller by moving over. And they didn't quite connect. I should have gone a little bit farther, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Just lift it up. So there are the two wings. They're not quite connected and that's okay because I'm gonna do it again on the other side. So I'm flipping over my ruler and I'm putting this one through. And this time I'm just gonna take a couple stitches in place and then I'm gonna lift my threads and come up to exactly across from my first wing. And I can cut that later. I don't have to do that now. So I am going to put this in position. I have to come up one more stitch Okay, we're in position now. Putting in our wing, and it's a very graceful wing. I actually, when I was in um, Maryland, when I was designing this, I was in Maryland with my son and my son-in-law, and we went to open the front door, and there was a dragonfly on the front door. And I made him stop so that I could pull out my phone and take a bunch of pictures of it because it, it was just like serendipity. So here I'm going to leave this wing up so that it's really connected. And I am just going to come down to my bottom and I'm going to make this top, this top wing and this bottom wing the same size. So I'm going to use my first etching line to line up to the top of my sewn line. And then I'm just gonna come down, bring it around, and I'm gonna do it double so it's just a little bit easier for everybody to see it. 
and then we're going to come up because I'm going to put in the top part. That's how easy it is to make the wing. So there are two different looks and I'll cut the thread in between and then you can add in all of your veining. The veining can be done very elaborately, which would be something like this, where I have a lot of veining in it, or it can be done something very simple which is, I'm just throwing things around my studio right now. You'd be laughing at me. Or it can be done something very simple like this. Uh, especially if you're going to do some template, you want it to be kind of simple. So that's what it will look like once I put the veining in. And I can, by playing with this, with my stitching line disc on paper first, I can come up with all sorts of different looks. The other thing you can do is you can do the tracing of this directly on tracing paper, cut it out, and then simply place it on your quilt where you want to have it be, and you can make little markings with it. So this is some different diagrams that I did up of different veining. And then I always mark everything. So for this diagram, the top wing, this was using the etching line for the top wing. This one down here was using it for the bottom wing so the wings are together more. Here I was putting in some lines um, depicting the actual body. So there's a lot you can do with this and there's a lot more that I will be coming up with that you can do with it. Um, because so I fun, Diane. You know, one of the things I was thinking is, can you use those etched markings on the template to kind of create the veining? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't want to do it free form, you can definitely use the etching marks that are on here and just keep moving down and moving down and following the etching marks. So there's, you can do it either way. You can either do it. I, I would encourage you to just take the plunge and try and do it on your own and a little bit of practice and you'll be, you'll be good to go. So yes, you can do it either way, Stacy, on that. That's so great. Now I'm going to post a link to that Garden of Capri class right now because we do have some folks that are asking about that. Let's put um, that over. And I do think, I mean, why wouldn't you throw in a dragonfly just for fun if you have one into that gorgeous project? Exactly. <laughs> that was but, the first thing I did when I got the um, template in the mail from you. That was the first thing I did was grab um, Garden of Capri and there's the dragon oh there, there it is. is oh it's so perfect yep I and originally i had done a dragonfly with just the body from the um template set so that's what the body from the template set looks like too but i just i really love the way it came out this is the garden of capri and stacy will put up a bigger picture so you can see the whole thing but this is the Zoom class that I'm going to be doing. It's starting in September. It's going to be three Saturdays, the last three Saturdays in September. And it is going to be from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was trying to make it so that the time zones would work for a multitude of, you know, our friends on the West Coast and all. So this is the Garden of Capri. We are going to be learning a ton of techniques. And there are still, I think, Stacy, isn't there still just a couple of spots left on it for this class? I don't think we reached our maximum yet. So yeah, I'll have to see how many seats are left in there. Um, I'm showing the the um, Garden of Capri class on the university right now. I just posted a link to it. Uh, but that is the Zoom class that starts in just, I guess, just this next month. Yes. Like, it starts in maybe two weeks. Is that right? Yep. 
It's coming up right after my brother's wedding. My brother's getting married on Sunday, the 10th of September. So we're starting it on the 16th of September. And there's also going to be a bonus get together next week um, just to meet each other. And if you have any questions, um, the supply list is already out and the technique list is out. It's not like you need everything right away. We're going to be doing a lot of techniques and um, we're going to be learning a lot. We're going to be sewing together. And that's what I'm most excited about is being able to sew together. So it's going to be a lot of fun and you are going to learn a lot. You're going to learn how Let's, to do these. Yeah, things. I love that. Let's talk a little bit about, so you, you have the small plumeria. We just launched that last week. That's going to be a perfect complement to um, and used in the Garden of Capri. Obviously, you have the opportunity to use the new dragonfly that we're just launching today in the Garden of Capri. But the main template that we're or template set that we're using in that is actually that sampler, the original sampler. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. This has two different it has three different petals that we'll be using in a variety of ways it has a butterfly body it has three different bodies for the butterfly and then it has the butterfly wingspan which i think is absolutely gorgeous and i'm also going to be showing you how to increase the size of your butterfly because i think stacy i'm I'm in the midst of making a few baby quilts. And for some reason, I just want to use this butterfly on my baby quilts. So that's, I'm going to be showing how to use it as this size and also how to enlarge it. This so is a small plumeria. And we're going to be designing as we go, which is, um, it might be something new to you, but it's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of um, free form, but still having our crosshair rulers and markers and just doing some different out of the box thinking with things. I love that. I absolutely think that this is the most gorgeous project. So now Thank with you. the butterflies and botanicals, you're also getting your butterflies and botanicals into my garden class, or was that a limited time offer? Um, no, that offer is still standing. Here is Into My Garden. And this was the original wall hanging. And I'm sorry, I can't get my camera so that you can see the whole thing in one fell swoop. But this is the original one that we did. And this class is still on university and it is still being offered. Here's the picture of it. And it's basically just a smaller version of Garden of Capri and not as many art qual qualities. You're going to get a lot more um, techniques with Garden of Capri, but this class, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I tend to be a little prejudiced, but I really like the way it came out. And we used um, fabrics that so said he, you still have the uh, melon color I know I don't know if you sold out of the um, the background fabric but there's just so much you can do with this so into my garden is one class and then garden of capri is a much larger wall hanging and I've also got three other classes that I'm working up that will be coming and those will be using the rulers in more of a traditional way as well as some painting techniques and some art quilt techniques so lots is on the horizon for this set of rulers i don't want it to be a one and done and i want you to be able because if you've taken my classes you know that the reason i love our rulers is that there's so much you can do with one ruler. They're just not good for one thing. You can do so much with them. And that's what I love about these. And that's why I'm passionate about teaching because I want people to see different ways you can use our rulers because I think they're absolutely phenomenal. And I've tested a lot of rulers out there, but definitely ours are the best. So I want to show you different ways to use them. 
Any questions come up yet, Stacy? Oh, that's a good You know, story. I think we've answered most of them. I did want to clarify when you said the measurement of the dragonfly was um, the six by four. Was it four inches tall by six inches wide once you have both of the butterfly or both it, of the wings? It was four and a half inches the span of the butter of the dragonfly, four and a half inches tall. And okay. then, um, more like eh, by the time you get done, you're going to need five and a half to six. I wouldn't put them on anything smaller than six inches. Okay. So, yeah. So it would be, it would be great to use for a filler block for a mm -hmm. quilt, um, mm -hmm. as well as I'm obsessed with baby quilts lately because my son's friends tend to be having babies. So, oh, sure. Yeah. Getting to that age. The weddings are over now and now all the babies are coming. So fun. Yeah. Well, um, I did want to announce that we are actually kicking off a um, the the giveaway for both the dragonfly and the plumeria, and it's happening now. So I just uh, finished that kickoff. We're going to go ahead and get that launched for you right now. So I'm going to be posting a link. Why don't you show them your sample again of those dragonflies? The samples of the dragonflies. Yes. One sec. Here I go into my Eleanor Burns mode, just throwing stuff on the floor. So here is one sample of a dragonfly that is done in the Templi method. And where are my other ones? Bear with me. Here is... This one is done. I just wanted to do it on a solid fabric so that you could have a good idea of what it looked like. And then this sample that I haven't even shown you yet, this is using the body of the um, butterfly that comes in the template set. But this is using it with, now this is, they're way far apart. I don't care for that. This one I absolutely love. So this is just a side view of what you can do with the dragonfly. So that's our dragonfly. And I hope you like it as much as I do because it is going to be very versatile. And then we also have the one that I did simply with thread. Thread, thread, and more thread. So I don't know if everybody does the same thing I do, but I have jars that sit next to my sewing machine. And when I am working, I am throwing all the snippets of threads in the jar and then this is the beautiful things that you can make with it. So it really, I don't know why I do it, but I'm sure there's more people out there that do the same thing. It's just fun and I don't want to throw it away because it's too pretty. So that is our beautiful new dragonfly that's launching today. I hope you all love it. There are it's absolutely gorgeous, Diane. Thank you so much for sharing that. I did go ahead and post a link to the giveaway. So make sure to get in there and sign up to win the Dragonfly and Plumeria, or better yet, just go over to the website and purchase it. I posted that link a couple different times for all of you, but I highly encourage you to check out all of design, uh, the Design by Die uh, templates because um, I think if you love the Dragonfly, you're going to love all of these too. Um, they're all so, so fun and um, definitely inspire kind of the botanical garden designs, but I also think that they would be amazing for kids' clothes. I agree. Kids quilts, wall hangings, table runners. Um, there's a lot of really th pretty things you can do. You can do, I'm working on a quilt right now that is going to be a whole row of flowers. I'm using this as the border on a table runner and I'm doing tulips. 
So I just have a whole roll of tulips. So there is a lot that you'll be able to do with them. And I'll be coming out with more. And hopefully our, our other educators will also be coming out with some more ways to use this. So Stacy, thank you so much for doing this today. Absolutely, and we appreciate everyone joining us today for this amazing new template launch. Um, and of course, the small familiar we launched last week. So why not give them both away this week? Um, just so you know, we are kicking off our back to basics, uh, back to beginner set uh, for September. So we've got a really cool uh, live that we're launching for you tomorrow, where we're gonna be sharing with you the opportunity to dig out those samplers sets and some of those basic templates and get some really fun projects going so um, we've got that new bloom template that's available only through our resellers that you're going to be able to jump into and do a free project with um, and then we're also going to be sharing with you a brand new zoom class opportunity with the amazing Angie Atwood she's out of um, England and she's got the best um, project for you that we're going to be launching uh, called the jewel quilt book um, if you haven't heard of it check it out it's on our website but she's going to be doing a zoom class with eight sessions through may that we're kicking off tomorrow so please join us for that live as well um, we hope you've all enjoyed the gorgeous dragonfly launch with designs by Di and uh, diane I, you know again i just think that not just are these super fun templates that just have so many possibilities especially in the realm of template quilting um, but you have gorgeous fabric so you're going to have to share with people where you get all of your gorgeous fabric and what inspires you to get that fabric. We're actually going to be talking a lot about that at the bonus quest for the Garden of Capri. And bless me, Father, for I have sinned, but I bought more fabric this morning. Couldn't pass up batik, so it'll be fun. Join us if you can. And Stacy, thank you so much for all that you did to make these launches possible. I really appreciate you and Jess. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you and sharing your amazing designs with everyone. So uh, we're excited for y'all to, to uh, jump into that Dragonfly template. Um, I think that you're going to love having this template in your design library. Um, being able to throw that in just as a fun little add when you have a flower or something like that. I just, I think it could really, you know, add a little fun character to it. And it's such a simple template. I love how you added the the echo line so you can kind of create that echo design. It you know kind of reminds me a lot of um, our feather designs. Yeah. Uh, being able to kind of create the echoing with that though is just like a new concept that I think is really, really simple and cool to use. So great thinking, great design concept, and uh, we're excited for everyone to jump in and show us what you can do with these amazing designs. Don't forget to post to Westerly by me, uh, share questions there, Diane's in there, we're all in there. Um, answering questions for you and sharing inspiration. So we hope you'll do the same. Um, if you're not already on that Facebook group, that's Westerly by me. And then of course, um, we'll be announcing our winner next Friday for the uh, Dragonfly and Small Plumeria. There are, I believe, just a few spots left for your class, Diane. Do you remember how many spots you had to begin with? I think I originally had 12, but Perfect. Yeah, yeah, so we, we have a could few spots left. So. A spot or two. Yeah, if you're excited about that, um, about that class that we've got coming up, then I definitely encourage you to to jump into that um, and and be part of the Garden of Capri uh, class. That there's just a few spots left, and that's starting this week. So, um, again, check out those new designs by. Um, by Diane and we'll post a link again to that giveaway that we're kicking off today. We do have the giveaway we kicked off last week for the Bloom template and um, which is um, helping us kick off our uh, Back to Basics September uh, with all of you. So we hope you jump over and check out um, that that giveaway as well, which is the Bloom template. We'll be highlighting that tomorrow during our Template Tasting Friday. So again, have a wonderful day, everyone. And uh, we hope you check out those new templates and of course um, get the opportunity to win. Don't forget to check out those classes on the SoStudy University as well. And Diane, we appreciate you joining us and sharing your new designs with us. 
Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And everybody have a wonderful long weekend. And I hope that you all get a few minutes of sewing in. Absolutely. Happy sewing, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>